As usual, I have my coffee. <clears throat> and it's 1.29 in the morning, so that's pretty normal too. <laughs> mm, I just kind of wanted to talk about regret. Because it's expensive and keeps you awake at night. Or at least it does to me. Um, <clears throat> guilt is a self-imposed thing. Nobody tells us to feel guilty. We just do. And it can eat you alive. Over the dumbest shit. I feel guilty. For things that happened years ago that I have no way of changing. That, you know, actually didn't affect people in a super hideous negative way. I just have that type of brain, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I can't sleep at night. Because my thoughts never stop going and going and going and going. Second guessing every word I said in a conversation. Regretting my attitude. Regretting my thought process for the day. Um... You know, it's, re it's really hard to take negative things that happen continuously in life and make something positive out of them. Make something, you know, worthwhile out of them. It can be difficult. And, uh, that's kind of, kind of where I'm at. Positive affirmations. Positive affirmations. I'm healthy, relatively speaking. <laughs> I mean, I can walk, I can speak, I can see, I can hear, I have all my limbs. Um, I woke up this morning, I painted, I brewed coffee, I fed animals. I put on makeup, took a shower, brushed my teeth. Um, I did laundry, which is a task for me, honestly, with the back injury that I have, but, hey, I did laundry. I adulted today, <laughs> and, um, had some good conversation with my best friend. Um, I mean, it was deep and dark, but we definitely talked. And she's one of those people that apologizes for everything, just like me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for dumping all this negative black bad shit on you. And it's like, you know, as, as crazy as it might sound, you should feel privileged when someone tells you those deep things because they don't always tell that to everybody. And so if you're a trusted person in someone's life and they share the dark things with you, feel, feel privileged, feel special. And yeah, it's a heavy burden to bear sometimes because you wish so badly to take the pain away from people that you love and care about. But I mean, having access to that part of them and being trusted with that information and being trusted as someone to talk to is important. It's a big deal. Um, so don't carry that lightly, you know? And when you, when you tell somebody your innermost workings, they, you know, should, should feel privileged to that information too. Cause it's not every day that you tell everybody, you know, your innermost traumas and things like that. You know, I can tell anybody about the car crash that I went through. But I'm not going to tell everybody, like, you know, deep, intimate details about certain things that I've suffered through. Um, because not everybody needs to know. <laughs> and it's, uh, we've kind of used that as currency in, in a lot of the recent years. I feel like trauma and scars have been used as a way to, um, 
almost like stacked trophies, almost like platinuming video games and getting in little trophies and stuff like that. It's almost like a lot of people are like in a competition to see whose scars are the deepest and who's the worst, you know, and, and that sort of thing. And I've, I've found that quite a bit within my community of, um, you know, mental health awareness and, uh, you know, chronic illness and that sort of thing. I've, I've, find it hard sometimes to find people that don't uh, continuously get into that cycle of comparative suffering and to see, you know, like, oh, my, you know, my shit's worse than your shit. I just, I don't know. That's just, that's just a problem. Oh, shoot. I better plug this in. My switch just yelled at me because it's only got 15%. <laughs> Just was listening to some chill lo fi. Thinking about new job is. Thinking about the tragedy of him dying so young. Because he was one of the forefathers of lo fi, but that's for another time. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess, I, I guess the biggest thing is like trying to get sleep feel guilty for not going to bed at a certain time because I want to get up at a certain time. I feel guilty for sleeping when some people sleep outside. I feel guilty for sleeping when I know other people I care about suffer with insomnia. I feel it's just absolute just craziness in here. The mental gymnastics that happens every day is freaking ridiculous. So hard to keep up with. I, I don't even know what the... <laughs> I mean, I feel like there'd be quantifiers for Olympic medals in uh, mental gymnastics at this point. Especially with what the fuck's going on in my head. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. And like I said, regret. I mean, last year was a rough year for everybody. Um, but, uh... Inci there was an incident in my life where two people that I really cared about and uh, really trusted and were really close to me in my life um, had kind of a hideous conversation about me behind my back and uh, my first thought was wow fuck you but then my second thought was wow um, you know I need to do some self-reflection. I need to figure out how to get to the bottom of this because if two people that close to me in my life felt the need to say those things behind my back to each other, um, you know, that's when you got to do some self-reflection and self-evaluating because if that's really honestly how somebody feels and they don't feel like they can bring it to your f attention to your face, then that's a problem. And, um, it's an ugly, awful thing that nobody wants to deal with, but, you know, no one ever said looking in the mirror was a fun time. But that's part of growing and changing and, and being a better person for the people you care about and being a better person for yourself. And that's something that I've struggled with for a long time. And, um, that's something that I've accomplished as well. Because I have struggled. Because I have tried to put in work. Because I have, um, you know, tried to change a little bit. At least a little. I don't know. Maybe the people around me don't notice it as much, but I notice it in myself. So I guess that's all that matters at the end of the day. If you know that you're putting the work in, if you know that you're doing what you feel is right to move on from, you know, being being toxic or being in a toxic environment and uh, picking up those things from being in that environment for so long. If you have put in the work and the effort to try and purge yourself of those traits or purge yourself of those tendencies and you notice the difference and you notice the change and you feel it in your soul and that people around you aren't recognizing that, then maybe it's just because they're not changing, they're not growing, they're still up in their, 
in their Cheerios, I guess. I don't know. It's a lot. It really is. But you know, we're not, I don't know, at the end of the day, we're not on the planet to please other people. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like we were born to hurt other people either. And so it's balancing, continuous balancing of not being self-deprecating and not um, causing issues in other people's lives. Um, figuring that out is pretty hard, and I'm one of those people that runs or or puts, you know, uh, shrinks inside of myself away from everybody, pours myself into my freaking art, pours, you know, I write raps or music or whatever, um, you know, make beats, play guitar, uh, write stories. Um, whatever it is, and I just avoid people at all costs because I can turn into the meanest MF you have ever come across in like 0.2 seconds. If I'm anxious, if I'm feeling a type of way about myself, I, I, I know I have a tendency to take that out on other people and I, I try to avoid that at all costs. So I run because I'm still 27 years old, still having issues with it. It's a never-ending battle. It's nothing worth having is easy. We'll just put it that way. Nothing worth having is easy. If something's truly worth it, it's worth the work. And it will take work. Um, ultimately, too, I feel like if you're not putting work into yourself, you can't truly put work into relationships with other people. And that's another thing that causes a lot of regret, causes a lot of pain, is when you go into something expecting a relationship to fix your problems and you pour all that onto a partner and um, you like, well, maybe not even a partner, just a family member or friend or, but yeah, a romantic partner. You pour all that shit onto them and they don't know what to do with it, you know? I mean, because ultimately your trauma and your past is not someone else's responsibility to deal with. It's not their responsibility to fix it. It's not their responsibility to carry it for you. Carrying your journey is your mission. Like, you have to carry your own trauma. You have to carry your own journey. You have to carry your own weight. Um, the weight of, of everything that you've been through as a person. And if you have some trauma and you have some PTSD, insecurities, whatever it may be going into a relationship, it is not that person's it is not that person's responsibility to fix it because they didn't cause it, right? So somebody didn't cause it, it's not their responsibility to fix it. So that's um, that's also a thing, you know, I feel like a lot of people get into relationships and they expect everything to be, you know, <clears throat> sunshine and daisies, and that's just not how it works, and so, I feel like if you, if you can't do self-reflection and you're not in a good headspace and you're not in a good place in your life, you can't, uh, get into a relationship and expect things to go well. It's not fair to you, and it's not fair to the other person, um, you know. So that's something to think about. That's something I've been thinking about quite a bit on the relationships in my life and how my relationship with myself is affecting them. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a continuous thing. It's a continuous thing. Just, you know, try practicing being grateful for the small steps. Give yourself credit where it's due. Give the people in your life credit when they're trying to be there for you or trying to help you. And also hold yourself accountable and other people accountable. If you set a boundary and somebody crosses that boundary, then, you know, hold them accountable. And if you um, tell somebody a trauma and they trigger it, then... You know, especially after you've 
talk to them very specifically about what triggers your trauma response and they don't respect that and they act like you know just because they didn't cause it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's okay for them to just trample all over something that you openly share with them and uh, try to set boundaries about. So ultimately, it's not their responsibility to face the trauma, to help you cope with it. Yeah, I mean, that's a choice. That's a choice if somebody wants to help you cope with something or someone wants to walk next to you through your journey, but ultimately you have to walk the journey yourself. No one's living your life for you. And so, you know, that's just where it's at. So I hope you guys um, can take something positive away from my Stupid rambling. <laughs> Self-deprecation. There it is. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, if you, if you buy these... Just, uh... FYI. They mean it. They mean it when it says fire. I was eating that earlier and I had to... Had to put it aside. And I love spicy food. But holy mother of God. The fire noodles are no joke. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that was just a side, side note. I don't know. It's almost 2 a.m. I'm just rambling. I'm just trying to help somebody out there who's sitting up at 2 a.m. Same way I'm doing right now, alone, no one to talk to. And, uh, just way too deep in your own thoughts. Just take care of yourself, you know? And meditate, talk to somebody. Get to the root cause of your issues. Start from there. And, um... I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh... And I'm just rambling at this point. I apologize. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love yourselves, love each other, and... Get some sleep. <laughs>